the biggest news this week in real estate is that our interest rates actually came down by six tenths of a point. That's a significant reduction. It's one of the biggest we've ever seen in one day. And it came because our inflation numbers um, were reported to show inflation was a little bit lower than expected. So we're starting to see inflation come down and immediately that's impacting the mortgage rates. This will also probably change or affect what the Fed does in December. We'll watch and see. Um, and we would expect that the Fed can start to have some easing on the interest rates. Doesn't mean they're gonna go down. Uh, it would be healthy actually if they held them for a while, in my opinion, rather than immediately dropping them again and causing a frenzy and being back in high inflationary numbers again. As far as Orange County goes, we have 3,590 active listings today. That's the number of sellers who have their home on the market that you could go look at and write offers on. With that, we have 1,586 homes that are currently in escrow. Buyers have already written offers on it. That represents our demand, which is the lowest this time of year we've seen since 2007. And so a lot of people are asking me, what is the market like? Um, what are you seeing in real estate? You have transactions going on. And yes, the answer is very much so we're still selling real estate. Probably 30% less homes will sell this year than last year. That's still a lot of homes. Um, it's just taking a little bit longer. So market averages went from three weeks on market on average to 60 to 70 days on average. Our team's average went from one week on market to about three. Our last three listings have gone at near or just above their listing price um, after being on the market for about three weeks. And so buyers are taking their time. They're waiting a little bit longer and they're not just jumping on a property as soon as it comes on the market. They are still very much looking to buy a good home. So if you've got a great home that's priced well and marketed right, it's still gonna sell relatively quickly because we still have buyers, there's just not as many. Anyways, if you have any questions on the marketability of your property or how to navigate this, this market, whether you're selling or buying, um, give me a call. I'd love to walk you through strategies on each side of the fence because this is the market where we can really truly make a difference. And what I mean by that, in a red hot seller's market, um, the public kind of thinks you just throw your home on the market and it sells for a high price, which sometimes can be very true. Um, however, in a red hot seller's market, it's really hard as a buyer to negotiate anything extra or get a good deal because there's 20 other buyers bidding on it too. In this market, that's a little bit slower. Um, you benefit as a seller by marketing your home correctly, staging, pricing it right, and having an agent that knows how to negotiate a contract. Similarly, on the buyer side, um, you benefit by deal hunting, negotiating, and showing the seller why, hey, we're probably your only buyer you're gonna have in a while, and getting them to have it your way. So you wanna buy in a buyer's market for a reason, and uh, it's because you can have a change or an impact on the market and do, re do well, not just in that market, but relative to the market. So anyways, I'd love to strategize with you. Give me a call or uh, send me a message and let's get together.